okay, okay, man. So, so ah, King Gambit's being suspect tested, you know. People have been saying this for months. You know, King Gambit might be a bit too much for the metagame. Bit of a crazy mod. Honestly, I understand why people say that. King Gambit is one on one side pretty broken, but on the other side, there's one of the glue mods of the generation. It helps keep a lot of broken stuff in check, but at the same time, checking stuff with broken stuff is not exactly the meta we want to be having, right? If we take a look at usage, even in a tier with Prime Lander Steer, I mean, it has all of its moves, its abilities, all of that, and a tier of Dragon, I mean, Great Tusk, <laughs> and a tier of Great Tusk, King Gambit is still somehow king, right? Which is a bit surprising when you have something that resists its dark moves, ground type that can do it super effectively, and has Intimidate. And a lot of popular fighting types such as Sneasler, Megalopony, and a Shifu Rapid Strike. It's a bit like, how the hell is King Gambit able to be number one in a big metagame such as this? And it's pretty simple. Pokemon's pretty strong, right? We all know what this Pokemon runs. It obviously runs Sucker Punch, Knock, Iron Head, S. You can also run Pursuit in this generation. Uh, you can run Katao on some versions of what? Fat, so that you don't have to worry about knocking things off more than once. As well as our uh, Trick Room, I've seen Katao on Trick Room. We also have Low Kick for other King Gambits. We have Terra Blast Fairy, stuff like that. Or Terra Blast, yeah, just Terra Blast Fairy. This Pokemon is also very well known for being able to terrestrialize multiple typings between Fairy, Water, Flying, Dark. Like, this Pokemon can terrestrialize into so many typings that it's very hard to predict. Right, and alongside this, we have King Gambit's signature ability, Supreme Overlord. Supreme Overlord is what I think pushes uh, Gambit over the edge. Obviously, there is the fight, which is a very good ability since, you know, you can't default. But we already have Golden Lord to block that. And Defiant is not as good as Supreme Overlord, simply put. Supreme Overlord is a very good ability. It basically gives King Gambit a choice band by the end of uh, the game. If all five of your Pokemon are dead, you'll have 1.5 times boost. And whenever one of your Pokemon die, King Gambit gets 10% uh, boost in its power. Basically meaning that whenever Pokemon goes down for you, even though you've just lost somebody, you've already gained some more power for Gambit in the end game. However, alongside having what King Gambit already, you know, in OU, the fact that King Gambit gets both Knock and Pursuit are very big issues, right? Because first off, Knock is a very strong move to hit offensive Pokemon with neuter them effectively. Because let's be honest here, Carmine Pokemon losing then, uh, their lefties very early on is also very annoying for them. As well as stuff like Don Dozer losing its uh, lefties and stuff like that. Basically, with Knock with King Gambit's always able to force progress, which can be pretty annoying. And then to complement that, King Gambit gets Pursuit, which is very, very good because it's able to pursue trips, stuff like Golden Go, Tapu Lele, the Mega Lottie Twins. Alongside that, King Gambit also has very good partners in National Dicks. Obviously, in OU, Real Room still exists. But in National Dix, Rillaboom has, you know, its actual stab in Grassy Glide and provides Grassy Terrain Recovery for King Gambit. So bulky King Gambit's with lefties always get more recovery than they uh, than damage they take in most cases because of King Gambit's high HP, high defense, and decent spin depth, especially if you invest in any of those stats. Lastly, the fact that King Gambit can, of course, terrestrialize into whatever typing it wants, basically, fletching, basically flipping whatever matchup it wants on its head is part of what makes King Gambit broken. However, King Gambit is a Gloomon in National Dex. This Pokemon is what keeps part of the tier intact. Because simply put, if King Gambit were to get banned, Golden Go and Dragapult, I think less Golden Go. I don't really see Golden Go as too broken, but we'll see. But especially Dragapult might be the next to go, unfortunately. Because without Gambit checking this guy's Specs Dracos and Shadow Balls and being able to pursue Trap it, both DD sets as well as its Specs sets, as well as its Wisp sets, as well as its screen setting sets, as well as the very rare life orb sets just become a little bit too much for the national dex meta game to handle although hopefully even if gambit gets banned Holt will be able to settle down but many people theorize that yeah once gambit's gone Holt's gonna be the next to go but yeah no even considering gambit's glaring weakness do you think that warrants enough of reason for king gambit not to be banned or do you think this pokemon is still too strong let me know down in the comments below stay safe take care have a good rest of your day peace